Well, from the workshop, for or from the first hours of the workshop today, um, it's something that people have been thinking about, and pe something that um, interests many people. But I think that many have not thought through to the end. Uh, there is a lot of um, interest in what can be new business models now that we can copy everything. What what are what, how can we make money if, if we lose, for example, um, sales on CDs? And because there are several people from the music field in our workshop, so what can be new? models and how can we um, work in, in different ways. Uh, so there's a lot of interest and awareness and we've now just talked about uh, different examples that I think gave several new ideas to people in the room. I think it's important as it makes, um, as, as it's a, a proactive uh, dealing with the fact that you can copy things. It's not forbidding uh, by like forcefully forbidding people to copy something, but to proactively say, okay, you can copy those things. So how can we, how can we deal with it? How can we um, um, how can we find new models of working together and making something positive out of the fact that you can uh, copy? Uh, it's much more in, at the beginning in such areas, but there are examples already. Um, for example, we just discussed uh, an example of font development. So instead of having somebody like the genius creator three years locking himself into the room and developing this font, which is difficult to develop. But how can we instead find a way that several people can collaborate together and also like make only sometimes little additions, say, okay, th there's between the N and the O, there's, a, there's one digit, uh, one um, field too much. Uh, so we can, we have to move it together. Like th those little things, how can we collaboratively work on something like this? So, so there, and, and there, there's, uh, suddenly such a platform, uh, in the making, for example. So, um, so there are examples of collaborative de development, but also, um, of ways, um, where it's not about a structured collaborative approach, but how can we, um, share things and also involve the users uh, and the people who are in who are not designers but who are who will be using our designs how we can we involve those more in the creation of processes and this is something we have just discussed several examples about how can the designer also take on a new role in an era where the user is actually interested in the source code and would, is not interested in just buying a product off the shelf, but in working with the product and really owning it. There's this statement that we quoted also again in the workshop, if you can't open it, you don't own it. So how can we work with the user to, and, and provide the source code of the designs and um, take on a new role as more as a service provider or as a facilitator, as a designer? I think it's uh, th there's interest, however, is at an early stage, and so there are several also fears that um, something like some used to a business model and used to role model is going away, and this always creates uncertainty. Um, but I think it's also um, kind of an exciting way to. Uh, to look into new areas. And well, at least in our workshop, I had the feeling that several people were interested also to explore new ways, and some actually are already doing, uh, doing something in that regard. I, I, it's not a vision. I mean, there, there is already lots of stuff out there, um, but it's not, not in a big scale. Um, and well, the, the vision could be like to, to think this in a broader scale, I think um, 
Mm, we would need a more like experimental and relaxed attitude towards one's own creations and to um, to see it positively that also other people may uh, improve a product. So to have more the product in the center than the individual. So to, to think that I want to have a product which is really great and I may have provided the basis for this and somebody else then provides uh, another like very useful tweak to it. Mm, I think some people, some widened mindsets, hopefully, that some people got some new ideas of what they can do also in their uh, design practice. Um, and well, we have worked on a mapping of the whole topic, so some th that will be filled with more um, substance so so that that we have something and in the beginning of the day it was very much a broad concept but at the end of the day we have something tangible and say okay there there's there are those and those and those models already out there maybe i can come up with a with another one <laughs>